Neil Flynn, he plays the janitor, and the great thing about him, he wasn't a regular in the pilot, so I was able to just cast him instead of having to audition against other people. It's getting hot, Redbird. Pull me out. I went in uh, originally and auditioned for uh, John McGinley's role of uh, Dr. Cox. Uh, maybe the second or third time I came in, Bill Lawrence said, you're not going to get this part. So, Bill, I, I get a part in your show? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely a part. Fantastic. It's going to be great. Show. It's going to be a hospital show, yeah. It's great. Do I carry a stethoscope? Uh, bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to wear a smock? Great jumpsuit. <laughs> Do I treat patients? Uh, you clean up shit. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Now, there is nothing wrong with being a janitor. Really? Thank you. You've, you've turned my life around. I'm gonna have to go tell my, my janitor wife and all our janitor kids that life is worth living. I, I don't think we've written a line for him yet that actually stayed that way on, I was gonna say, on film. Yeah. A guy that truly does not need a script written. Okay. We're, we're of no use to Neil Flynn. <laughs> well, first of all, w w a lot of times what's uh, mistaken for improvisation is actually just a lack of preparation on my part. Morning, killer. I don't read well, and I'm lazy. So most of the time, I really have no idea what my lines are supposed to be. I'm all alone down here. I'm frightened. I don't think Neil Flynn has ever said one line from the script. He is so funny. But when people ask me which character I write for, I always say that. <laughs> Neil Flynn is the best ad libber on the set. That seems an odd place to sit. Is it? <laughs> well, it's, it's weird going back and looking at the first episode because I have that he's really only after Zach. I'm watching you. You know why I have a job? It's basically three words. Why have plenty? It was just a very well-written scene that I'm, um, I'm working on the door, total stranger to this kid. And he says, what's wrong? And I said, ah, oh, the door won't open half the time, it's busted. And he says, maybe there's a penny stuck in there. Something that you might find yourself saying. And uh, the janitor turns and says, why a penny? Like, as if thinking, interesting you should know that. If I find a penny in there, I'm taking you down. Normally the door is closed. Normally that's, you know, I don't interact with others. So um, they'll just knock on the door when they need me and I'm allowed to, uh, you know, to go out or maybe to get something to eat. 